everyone welcome back squad we got a new video and today it's gonna be about Lucians. surprise surprise Lucians. so one of the biggest things that people have with an arena is obviously nemesis healers or nemesis procers so imagine if this juno was like a praha right then you would be equally as scared because it's probably a nemesis type build and it's gonna rejuvenate this whole team and your team is not gonna kill shit, right? So today, I'm gonna show you how to counter these types of defenses with a Nemesis Healer. So in my case, I decided to build a free-to-play Nemesis Healer, and I'll make another video about it, um, I guess. And it's called the Second Awakened Belladion. So I put it on a double Nemesis will set because double Nemesis is like one of the... Um, it's a lot easier to cut in with double nemesis versus one nemesis, obviously, right? And most of you guys won't be encountering a double nemesis or single nemesis set that is plus 164 speed. I think on average, most double nemesis will users are probably around the bonus plus 140, plus 120 to 150 range, honestly. Um, and to counter, I, I just made it really, really fast because my Lucians are really fast, right? So it's just kind of evening out the playing field. So you're probably going to get about, let's just say, on average, your Lucian's probably going to be around like plus 90, plus 100 speed, right? So I just made my Bella Dion this quick. And if you want to see the runes of my other units, it's just my RTA Vanessa and an Omduat, okay? So keep in mind that Bella Dion is a smart healer, okay? So the way that you want to build your double Lucians to face off against Nemesis healers is to build it on a triple fight set. The reason why you build it on a triple fight set is because you because because you only have one damage dealer effectively, right? And that's your main Lucian. This Lucian is gonna be the thing that takes everything down after your Fluffer Lucian does the hot Garbo damage. So how you want to build it is ideally on triple fight, but if not, then what you do want is that. 100 accuracy so i'm rocking a crit rate rune with fight here so it's 100 crit rate or almost 100 crit rate you want 85 minimum because of water units consistency right and as you can see the rest of my fight runes they're just kind of random tank stats also getting some speed and crit rate to reach the threshold of 100 crit rate right you don't need the solution to do damage, you ignore damage. That's the beauty of it. You can run 100 crit rate and not require damage stats because you naturally ignore, right? So without talking too much, I'm just going to go in the battle and show you that this Bella, as fast as it is, with a 33 lead, is not going to proc because my first solution doesn't do any damage, okay? Look at this. I've tested it multiple times, but this Bella... Is not gonna go. This Omduat will go because it's so quick with its speed lead, and that's why you have a Will Lucian. Your, your primary Lucian that goes second has to be on Will. Not the good reason why, right? So I got a little bit lucky with the with the crits, but the problem against these teams is if they're fire heavy and they're tanky, you're not gonna be you're not gonna have the firepower to gun them down, right? So that is a challenge that you may come across if your first Lucian is not on fight to give your second Lucian a lot of extra power or if they're all fire, you literally just need to get lucky and crit. You see this? The Vanessa and Juno lives, right? And the Bella's going to smart heal. Boom. Kind of back to square one. I kind of got stalled. This defense did its work, right? Now, instead of one rotation with amps, now I'm effectively having one damage dealer going at it, you know, slowly chipping them down. It's still kind of fast compared to bruisering, but this is the challenge you will face. Imagine if that Juno or that Omduat was something like a Perna Rakan, right? It's more than likely that I'll get blasted out of the world, and if the AI is smart and it targets your good Lucian, you got no damage dealer, right? 
So you gotta be wary of that. And to counter that, if it's too fire heavy, what you can do is run a Julie. A Julie will take care of the the fire units, but keep in mind your Julie's got to be built with some actual damage. And this Julie, really, I don't, I don't even know why how I built it. It just needs to be one speed or same speed faster than your your Will Lucian. This is a hundred crit rate for consistency, like always. And I'm rocking this crit rate, so I have no crit damage here. But the purpose of the Julie is not to do damage, it's to fluff her down, not proc Nemesis, take care of the fire threats afterwards, right? So what can go wrong here is because these are fire units and I do enough damage with how it's been buffed here, it's possible I proc Bella Smart Heal AI, right? So if I did enough damage, onto one of these units, the fire units, I would be able to heal back up. So I'm gonna test that again and showcase that to you when it pops. <clears throat> what speed my Lucians to sync to Frigate? There are applications for you to sync your teams, but, or you can just do math, which is too hard. So can you proc and then show the power of the Nemesis so right here it should pop because the, it's an RTA Vanessa, right? Most Vanessas are RTA. And it healed up because of Bella's AI. Also proc nemesis. And now I'm kind of kind of back, kind of stuck, you know? What am I gonna do now? Everything's full HP. The, the defense did its job, right? It did its job. So now there's an opportunity for me to lose here. I don't really have a threat here, right? But if I did, high chance that that Perna, that Rakan, that Camilla will stall you out and make you have a really bad time, right? But we're okay. This defense is not legit, by the way. I'm just using it because it's my weekday defense. So another way that you can try to counter this team is if you want to run, let's just say you want to run quad Lucians, but you run a fluffer. So what I mean by quad Lucian is you rock a Jameer. So the only problem here is you are only synced to one attack of our buffer. So my Bestet's my primary buffer in this situation. I do not have Bernard to give me the extra gauge and speed buff. So it's very likely that something will cut in because I'm not supercharged on speed here, right? So I, it probably won't cut, I mean, I won't get knocked down here by Bella because I won't trigger um, the Nemesis, but what will happen is the AI goes now because I'm not speed tuned, right? I'm not speed tuned against this team because I don't have one attack bar buffer. But if you're willing to take the risk and just reset with Jameer, you should be in a fine situation. Or you can imagine this is like four water monsters, right? Literally no threat and you can use this team. So imagine if this team was something like, let's just say Camilla, okay? Let's just run a Camilla. So this is my Camilla. And this is my other Camilla, okay? So imagine you run something like this. You can obviously use this because what can possibly go wrong? There is no way for this team to strip me, to kill me. So you can run something like this. Camillas can be aerials too. It could be, it could be like Prahas as well. It can be arena even, okay? So this is what I mean. This is a situation where I would use Quad Lucians and not Proc Nemesis. If you Proc Nemesis, you can also Quad Lucian because your double Lucians are equal in strength. But it really depends on how many Lucians you have. What is your rune depth? Obviously not everybody's got room to make that many Lucians, right? So that is all for the video. Hope this helped you in your gameplay for Arena. And make sure to join in on su Sunday's AO and AD review. And if you don't know what that is, watch the latest video 
about the channel news update and once again guys thanks for your support